geometric means. Let us begin with the first problem. Nanette had the following pair of numbers in the game. She asked the guests to First, think of a number between 3 and 75 with a common ratio. Second, think of three numbers between 1 and 16 with a common ratio. And lastly, think of two numbers between 125 and 64 with a common ratio. The problem from the previous slide will lead us to the concept about geometric means. What are geometric means? These are the terms in between the first and the last terms of a geometric sequence. Let us consider the first example from our problem. We have to think of a number between 3 and 75 with a common ratio. First, we have to illustrate the given problem. So we have 3 as our first term, then the second term, followed by our third term, 75. Or we can rewrite this one as 3, a sub 2, and 75. So let us identify the following. We have a sub 1, which is equal to 3, or our first term. A sub 3, which is our third term, 75. So in this case, we have to look for a sub 2, or the second term of our sequence. First, we have to find the common ratio of this sequence. So in finding the common ratio, we have the following. So the first common ratio we have here as a sub 2 over 3. 3 here is our first term. And we also have the second common ratio which is the third term 75 over the second term a sub 2. Since the two equations here talks about the common ratio, therefore we can equate them into r sub 1 is equal to r sub 2 and equate the two expressions, we have a sub 2 over 3 is equal to 75 over a sub 2. Then, using cross multiplication, we have here a sub 2 times a sub 2 is equal to 3 times 75. Therefore, we have here a sub 2 squared is equal to 225. As a result, we will extract the root of a sub 2 squared and also extract the root of 225. Therefore, the second term here is positive negative 15. Take note we are using two signs here, both positive and negative. It's because we are taking the root of 225. Notice that there are two possible results when you solve for the square root of 225, like what I have mentioned a while ago. Let us identify which of these two roots is the final answer. When a sub 2 or the second term is equal to positive 15, then our r is equal to positive 5. So to find the second term, which is 15, first we have to use the preceding term, 3, or the first term 3, multiply it by the common ratio positive 5, therefore our second term is equal to 15. When a sub 2 is equal to negative 15, therefore our r is equal to negative 5. Then how do we get negative 15? Again, Multiply our preceding term, the first term 3, by our common ratio, negative 5. That's why our second term is equal to negative 15. A term between two terms of geometric sequence or more specifically mean proportional 
if a sub 2 the second term is the mean proportional between a sub 1 the first term and a sub 3 the third term, then by definition of geometric sequence and a sub 2 over a sub 1 is equal to a sub 3 over a sub 2, we have this result. We have a sub 2 squared is equal to the product of a sub 1 and a sub 3. Then simplify, we have a sub 2 is equal to positive negative the square root of the product of a sub 1 and a sub 3. So we will be using this formula in finding the second term if we have three terms and we are asked to find the second term. Therefore, the mean proportional between two numbers is equal to the square root of their product. Second example, think of three numbers between 1 and 16 with a common ratio. We can rewrite it this way. We have 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and 16. And identify the following. a sub 1, our first term, is equal to 1 a sub 5 is equal to 16, our fifth term, and n is equal to 5. We are using 5 since we have a total of 5 terms in our geometric sequence. The first thing that we should do is to find the common ratio using our geometric sequence formula. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. And substitute the given values. Our a sub n, which is our last term, or the fifth term, 16, is equal to 1, our first term, times the quantity of r raised to 5, our n minus 1. Then, 16 is equal to 1 times r raised to 4. Then, simplify, extract the root of both sides. So, we have here, 4th root of r raised to 4 is equal to 4th root of 16. So our r here is equal to 2, and this is now our common ratio. We also have an alternative formula in finding the common ratio. To derive the alternative formula, we will be using the geometric sequence formula a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Then, we will be dividing both sides by a sub 1 so that we only left with r raised to n minus 1. Cancel out a sub 1. So you have here a sub n over a sub 1 is equal to r raised to n minus 1. After which, since our goal is to find r, so we will be extracting the root using n minus 1 to both sides. So as a result, r here is equal to n minus 1th root of a sub n over a sub 1. Wherein, r is our common ratio, n is the number of terms, a sub n is the last term of our sequence, a sub 1 is the first term. So let us go back to our problem a while ago. So using the alternative formula, let us find out if we still have the same answer to our original formula. So substitute the values of n, a sub n, and a sub 1. So our n here is 5. a sub n, which is the last term of our sequence, which is 16, and a sub 1 is equal to 1. Then simplify, so it becomes the 4th root of 16, then r is equal to 2. As you have noticed, we have come up with the same answer. So since our common ratio is equal to 2, therefore, let us now find the different geometric means of this sequence. So to find our geometric means, we will multiply the preceding term with the common ratio. Preceding term would mean the previous term. So let us begin with the second term, a sub 2. 
we will be using 1, which is our first term. Multiply it by the common ratio 2, therefore, our second term is equal to 2. For the third term, we are using 2 as our preceding term. Multiply it by 2, which is our common ratio. This results to 4, and 4 is our third term of the sequence. Then, a sub 4, our fourth term, the preceding term is 4, multiply it by the common ratio 2, therefore, 8 is our fourth term of the sequence. Therefore, the three geometric means are 2, 4, and 8. Let's proceed to the third example. Find two numbers between 125 and 64 with a common ratio. We can rewrite it this way. We have 125, a sub 2, a sub 3, and 64. Identify the following. Our a sub 1 is 125, which is our first term. a sub 4 is equal to 64 or our fourth term. And our n is equal to 4 since there is a total of 4 terms in our geometric sequence. First thing that we should do is to find the common ratio. So in this case, we can use the alternative formula, r is equal to n minus 1th root of a sub n over a sub 1. Then substitute the values. We have r is equal to 4 minus 1. Then 64 as our a sub 4 over 125 as our first term. Then, we have here r is equal to the third root of 64 over 125 or you can say that it is the cube root of 64 over 125. So, when you take the cube root of this fraction, so, you must take the cube root of the numerator and also the cube root of your denominator. So, r here is equal to 4 over 5. So, this is now our common ratio. To find the geometric means of our third example, so, again, you multiply the preceding term with our common ratio. So, second term here is equal to 125, which is the preceding term. And also our first term. You multiply it with 4 over 5, our common ratio. Therefore, our second term is equal to 100. For a sub 3, or the third term, that is equal to 100. 100 is our pre previous term or preceding term. You multiply it by 4 over 5, our common ratio, and that is equal to 80. Therefore, the geometric means are 180. Fourth example. Find the mean proportional between each pair of numbers. Letter A, 3 and 12. For letter B, negative 2 and negative 12. So let M be our mean proportional. This solution is only applied in finding the geometric mean of our sequence. So this is only applicable if we have a total of 3 terms in our geometric sequence. So let us answer first letter A. So we have here M is equal to the positive negative square root of the product of 3 and 12 and that is equal to positive negative square root of 36. Then you simplify, we have the result which is equal to positive negative 6. Therefore, M is equal to 6 since our a sub 1 and a sub 3 are both positive. Let us proceed to letter B. So we have here M is equal to positive negative square root of the product of negative 2 and negative 12 and that is equal to positive negative square root of 24. 
24 is not a perfect square but you can still simplify so how to simplify a 24 here so first you have to take note that the factors of 24 should contain one perfect square so for 24 we will be using 4 times 6 as our factors and after which since we have one perfect square which is 4 so square root of 4 is 2 then you are left with 6 under the radical sign since 6 is not a perfect square therefore the result here we have here as positive negative 2 square root of 6 therefore m here is negative 2 square root of 6 since our a sub 1 and a sub 3 are both negative so the signs of our mean proportional will only depend on our given terms of our geometric sequence fifth example insert three geometric means between eight and one half we can rewrite it as eight a sub two a sub three a sub four and one half and identify the following a sub one our first term which is equal to eight a sub five our fifth term and also the last term is equal to one half and n is equal to five since we have a total of five terms in this geometric sequence and we have to find the common ratio we may use the alternative formula and then substitute all these values to this formula here so we have r is equal to five minus one then a sub n is equal to one half and a sub one is equal to eight simplify so r is equal to the fourth root of 1 over 16 again when you take the fourth root of this fraction form so you have to take the fourth root of the numerator 1 and also the fourth root of your denominator 16 that's why r here is equal to 1 half and this is now our common ratio to find the geometric means of this geometric sequence we will multiply the preceding term with our common ratio. So for our a sub 2, our second term, we will be using the preceding term 8. Multiply it by our common ratio 1 half. The result is 4. And 4 is our second term. For a sub 3, our third term, we will be using the preceding term 4. Multiply it by 1 half, our common ratio. And the result is 2, and that is our third term. For a sub 4, our fourth term, we will be using the preceding term 2. Multiply it by 1 half, our common ratio. Therefore, a sub 4 is equal to 1, and that is our fourth term. Therefore, the geometric means of the sequence are 4, 2, and 1. And that ends our discussion on geometric means. Thank you.